schedule and this was emotionally triggering to one parent who told me that he's lucky that he's able to pick up his kids from school today. Hour after hour. It has been constant for the past couple of weeks. Parents like Josh Cornwell are once again having to respond to school threats. Cornwell keeping in touch with his daughters via text as they wait at Alston Ridge Middle School for the all clear after a bomb threat. It's no longer school. They, they refer to school as the dangerous place. Thankfully, I'm going to be able to pick my... Cornwell choking up at the thought of other families in Uvalde, Texas, one year after 19 children and two adults were killed in a shooting at Robb Elementary School. I'm going to be able to pick my kids up. There's parents that can't, and that's the reality of this country. From lockdowns to secure statuses, we traveled from Wake to Durham County within the span of a few hours on Wednesday. Northern High School ending the day as normal after officials searched a neighborhood near campus for a weapon. Both schools were ultimately safe, but frustration mounts over the violence. It's just frustrating that you know, the kids have to go through this more than us. They have to keep dealing with this over time. And middle school is a one thing. The kindergartners, they are, you know, it's going to affect them mentally. Now, in the wake of Uvalde, the Wake County School District says they're currently in the process of implementing security recommendations, although we don't exactly know what that entails. They also encourage parents to monitor their kids' social media and maintain these healthy, trusting relationships between adults and children. And, of course, if you see something, say something. Reporting in Durham, Cindy Bate, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. All of it becoming way too normal and way too much. Cindy, thank you.